Today I'm going to show you, yesterday we have checked out how to load the transaction data and today let's check it out how to load a master data. Yesterday the data is loaded Kiran or it went, it went on errors? Which one? Yesterday transaction data. Yeah, uh -huh. that is, um, it takes a lot of time, right? So it goes on errors. Uh -huh. Normally it will load, that is a process. Okay. okay, so first we need to log on to your ERP system, ECC system, log on to ECC system, say enter your username and password. Okay, the first transaction code you need to enter is RSA5, so where I need to identify my data sources to installation. What data sources I want? Let's say that first I want to use uh, Mm, let's say I want to use Elo Logistics. I have master data here. Expand. And I want to use <laughs> which one I can use. Let's use zero customer. Zero customer attributes. So select this. Activate data source. Okay, so this is zero customer. I have selected zero customer underscore HTR. This is my data source. Continue. Let's say activated. Continue. So if you open this, select zero customer. This is the one data source I have taken. So today I want to work with the multiple data sources. Okay, so what I can do under this only let me take one more zero material activate i'm taking three data sources today from the ecc system i'll show you how to load these three data sources okay it's executed open this Copy this. This is another data source. Go back. Let's work with one more. Which one? Okay, go to plant. This is a plant attributes. Activate. Okay, open plant. Copy this. So I have activated three data sources. So what is the next step? By default, it will not be available under RSS6. So I need to go to check RSS6. In real time, it will not be available. This is a training system, so everything is activated, everything will be available. You don't need to go and check. But in real time, whenever you install any data sources in RSA5, you have to go and check in RSS6. That should be available. Then only, those are all active expand hello see expand this then you can check zero customer zero material zero plan it will come automatically here but in a training system everything is there not only those three okay but real time only three will be there that is the difference okay once you've done this one you need to understand like you know how the data is coming to this data sources for zero customer, the data coming from the table called KNA1, that is a customer table. For material, you can say it is coming from Mara table. This plan table, it is coming from T001. If you can Google in a uh, record related to your uh, data source, give a data source and ask what is the table, you will get a lot of information from SAP. There is a flow also for that for every table where the data for every data source from which table the data is coming also there are a lot of uh, data flows a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, hierarchy structures are available you can easily find out the table names by this otherwise it is really difficult to buy hard all these tables okay so I'm just giving a fun sample example to you from where the table where from where the data is coming from which table the data is coming for these data sources.
okay once you done this one very simple then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and extract or you can first you can identify let's say that what is a primary key for each table so you want to identify that okay come to s11 k and a1 enter display i want to check what is a primary see can you see here the key is only two mandatory is client client is mandatory then what is other key kunar k u n n r what is a kunar customer number this is a primary key what is a bw side for k n a the primary key is is k u n n r okay then what is a bw side this is a ecc side ECC table they have given something like this the table field but is a what is the info object I should have this is a table field is different info object is different right so what is info object I have they have created info object also for this what is that zero customer this is the suitable info object for this okay so you can find like this also okay so once you find this one for all the tables then what I can do is you don't need to go and check if you simply go there and what is the primary key it is not required also to check for your understanding since you are doing this first time you were doing this then slash n rsa3 what is rsa3 data extraction ok extract a checker 0 customer underscore hdr click on extraction I'm not going to load because it is going to take a lot of time. I'll I'll take you till uh, BW data targets info package. Later you know what is a DTP, right? Okay. Click on list. This is a data package. This is all customer data attributes. See customer name, customer address, customer location. These are all see so many customers we have here. Take this as a customer data. Go back. Then one more. What is the one more? Zero material underscore HDR extraction. Okay. List. This is all about zero material data. Can you see what is the material number? All the things will be there. Material ID. Okay. What is next? Zero plant underscore ATTR extraction. Done. Two hundred and twenty nine records. List three packets. This is a plant customer point plant ID okay so I have three data sources done this is what you need to do ECC side what is the next step go to BW side I need to log on to the BW system log on to BW side Okay, so this is not proper BW. This is a BW. So, first thing is what RSA 30. You need to check what is your source system. See, people are using flat file. I need to select my source system, right click, check. Once you've done this one. Why? Log on to BW. Mm -hmm. 
So what I need to do, RSA 13, right click on source system, check. The source system is ready. Then what next? Slash N R S D S. Why? I need to replicate my data sources. What? Zero customer underscore ATTR. This is the first data source. Replicate. Done. Then what? Zero material underscore ATTR. Data source replicate. Done. Then next what? Zero plant underscore ATTR. Data source underscore replicate. Okay, done. Next what? I need to go on check in. BW RSA 15 RSA Oops. go there okay still it is showing PC flat file then select your source system select your ECC source system double click okay now we need to check your data sources my data source available where logistics so expand logistics okay this is a master data if you expand, it will display your material, zero material underscore ATTR. Can you see here? And zero customer underscore ATTR. Then zero plant underscore ATTR. So what I need to do all these things. Open this. Change. Activate. Easy guys. data source activated go back see my plant is activate select zero customer double click change activate so once it is activated you need to go for other data source activate all of them the next step is you need to look for what is the data targets for this okay my customer is also activate let's select material double click change activate Thank you. 
Done. Your material also activated. So what happens now? I have my data sources ready, but now I don't have a data targets. What is the data targets for master data? It will be informs it. So what I need to do do for this? I need to look for what is a suitable info. It will be always primary key. So what is the primary key for customer? Zero customer. Material? Zero material. Plant? Zero plant. So I have not created this. Then what I need to do? I have to install this from where? From slash o r s o r b c t what is r s o r b c t who is going to answer data, data source oi r s o r b c t r s o r b c t source system kya sir ji Sirika, so, what is RS for RBCT? Your mic is working. Raj, if you don't have created any objects, where you go ahead and install these things? Where it will be available? In the BA content. Um, that is RS for RBCT. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Kiran, sorry. So, it's very simple logic. I am getting my all the data sources, predefined data sources from ECC. I have not created any info object. Obviously, I look for these predefined info objects in RS for RBCT. Okay. So, select your BI content. That is called your RS for RBCT. That is called your business content. Okay. Now what I need to do? I need to look for. Since I know the technical name, I don't need to go to this objects and find out. If I don't know the technical name, I need to go to object types. I need to find out what is the technical name. I know object types, technical names. Then what I need to do? First, you need to check here. Info objects by info area not info providers <clears throat> info objects by info area go here oh it's too slow What is this here? Info objects by info area. Guys, I think it is slow. I'm going to show you the screenshots. Is that okay for you?
Okay, it is taking a lot of time. Let's check it out in a screenshots. Let me show you that. VW extraction. Okay, so once you come to the BO business content, what I need to do? Select your objects by info area, then you need to search for. Uh, screen is getting refreshed, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm opening, I'm opening. Come to your info objects by info area, then you need to search for zero customer. Then you will find the zero customer. Then select your source system in ZCC. Then search for plant. Then search for material. Then install all of them. Okay? Plant material customer drag and drop can you see here i have a customer i have a material i have a plant rest of all objects whatever is required it will automatically comes because it might be attributes okay it might be hierarchies whatever it is okay go on a mute okay so once you add this material plant customer go to install and install very simple once you install and install, then come to the modeling side. What is the modeling? The modeling screen. Then go to info object, search for your info object. See, I'm clicking on find. I'm entering technical name. I'm searching. It will find because we have installed from business content. Once you find, very simple. Then what? Right click on it. Create transformation. Transformation to what? My data source. What is your data source? Zero customer underscore ATTR. Okay. Create transformation. Activate. The screen. Are you in a transformation screen? Okay, come to the transformation screen, activate. This is for zero customer. Do same thing for zero material. Create a transformation. Enter your data source. Activate your transformation. Do the same thing for plant. Create transformation. Enter your data source. Activate. So my transformations are ready. If you see the data flow, can you see? This is a one data flow because I have selected only on plan. Okay. Then this is a data source. Data flow. Then go to your data source. Select customer data source. Create info package. Full update. <clears throat> Start. Then your customer data will be loaded. Same thing. Create DTP for customer. You know very well, right? After info packages, DTP. Full, execute. So I'm creating in. I'm creating a DTP again. I'm showing you back. I have done creating of info package for customer. Now I'm creating a DTP. When you create a DTP, select extraction mode is full. Activate, go to the execute tab, execute. That's it. Then you can create a DTP for rest of other two data sources. Clear guys? Any questions here? I'm fine now. Yeah, this is how you need to get the master data data sources. So yesterday we have seen transaction data and this is a master data. Like this, you can get any number of data sources and look for what <coughs> what is a suitable data targets. Go to business content, install, bring it to modeling screen, then create transformation, then create an info package and DTP. So you need to understand first thing, how do you identify what data source you have to install? For example, your business team will give you please you know get the data from SD then you need to check what is the data source in case if they give you data source 
which transaction code I have to use to install this data source RSA 5 whether it is activated or not where I check RSA 6 how do I extract the data from the tables to the data source RSA 3 minimize your ECC system come to BW bring the data source from ECC to BW what is the transaction code RSDS what is that replicating data source replicate it will come from there ECC to BW now it will appear on your BW screen where under data sources double click open activate your data sources activate now what I need I need data target where it is available all the predefined objects are available in business content directly go to business content what is the transaction code RSORBCT first I don't know what is a my data target technical name I am not aware of what is a suitable data target for this no worries search with your data source it will find all the suitable data targets how do I search go to objects expand object types then search for with your data source it will give you what are the list of targets are suitable for this data target data source then note down the technical name then if it is a transaction data go to info providers by info area if it is a master data go to info objects by info area okay for example it is a transaction data go to info providers by info area since I already know what is a technical name search with that system will find where wherever it is located drag and drop into collected objects then do the grouping do the collection mode install install it brings into your modeling screen once you bring into modeling screen very simple transformation info package DTP clear guys any questions guys is it clear any questions uh, the system is not running fine uh, Kiran no system is not what is there to miss we have missed only how to install but you are understand with the screenshots right Raj is it clear for you through the screenshots no I'm not feeling comfortable with screenshots okay now tell me how do you go to the business content what is the transaction code okay now I got here RSP. yeah I got here now let me show you RSORBCT say, say zero customer this is a info object search for your info object bring into see it will find system is finding Hmm. where it is it finds your system will find wherever it is located zero customer this is zero customer drag and drop this is a where we are wasting a time it is taking a lot of <sighs> delay you know dragging and drop okay I got where is the zero material this is a zero material drag and drop where is a plant this is zero plant drag and drop so first you need to install your info providers all your data targets from where from business content see I got material also then drag and drop plant okay so what I need to do grouping only necessary objects I want collection mode no 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 it just takes only structure how the data comes there won't be any data we need to send the data 
how we will send the data by using DTP ok install when I say install it will install ok so I forgot to check this check these boxes then do again installation whenever you install this will automatically available in the modeling otherwise it, it won't be available in the modeling screen right now I'm in a business content screen okay so it is installing everything okay once it is done go to modeling screen okay go to modeling screen go to info provider then you can start looking for your zero material can you see I got it zero plant also I got it zero customer also I got it yes then what is what is pending right click on it create transformation how do I create transformation right click on it create transformation data source uh, what is the data source zero customer underscore ATTR what is the data target uh, source system ECC source system simple create transformation yeah this is a transformation activate continue Ah, okay my transformation is ready for zero customer then material attributes create transformation data source zero material underscore HTR this is my data source now this is my transformation activate now, transformation is ready for material go back plant attributes right click create transformation data source is it difficult uh, Raj okay whatever we did on the screenshot same thing we're doing here okay activate if system runs we can run easily but system is getting problems then it irritates okay my transformation is done go to data source where are my data sources here it is okay so it's still showing dot simple refresh mm. when you refresh you will get arrow mark right click create info package info pack for what is this zero customer hmm. save then what I need to do schedule tab update tab you can say full update only schedule tab start data was requested go to PSA zero records refresh refresh oh my god 8000 records are there so I'm not going to open this okay it will take a lot of time can you see 8000 records guys yes kid. okay so I'm not going to open because it will take a lot of time okay your info package refresh it is active okay once it is active then what I need to do next right click on it create DTP full load execute tab activate continue execute it won't be green because it is going to take a lot of time see 8000 records into one data package you need to refresh refresh everything should become green ah 
administer data target now you can see 8000 records came zero customer contents execute now uh, can you see the data the data is in the data target okay you can do the rest of uh, other two data sources you know how to do the two other data sources right yes you can also install this uh, under from grouping and everything that is also possible you need to look for that but since we know that you know we'll create our data sources and everything because we can do customization for transformation and dtps that's why i'm showing it as a manual fine can you do for uh, uh, info package and dtp for other two data sources or you want to see that one also we'll do it can okay great any other questions is it recommended we do the transformations uh sureka if you ask me this it depends completely on your requirement if you ask if they ask you to do the customization you need to go for your own if they ask you to do as per the predefined you can go for predefined okay fine any other questions guys fine chalo thank you then we'll meet tomorrow bye